I've beaten I've beaten all the number titles. Okay, so I'm currently oh, playing yeah? through. I'm You're a Persona fan. Name all jazz music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? There are some Persona fans that <laughs> only. Here's the thing. It's very strange. Like when you give like, if you are a fan of like a video game franchise that features a lot of jazz, or like even like uh, Cowboy Bebop. Like it's very interesting to see which people actually like vibe with jazz, or like, no, I actually just like the soundtrack of Persona. I love, how, I love how you said like Persona and then just Cowboy Bebop as an aside. Yeah, okay, Cow Cowboy Bebop's opening is so good. No, I know, I know, yeah. I know what you're getting at, but just the fact that you have to make that distinction just tells that just shows a lot about pop culture, honestly. <laughs> you know what's a lot like jazz, Mega Man. Yes. Bagman do be having some goddamn good tunes. I refuse to elaborate. He, you guys him, please, thanks. No, I, I definitely got it, believe me. But uh, Peak Bro is, excuse me, a name that has been around, like, early Ultimate in New York. They went away for a bit. Wait, is this the Anamanaguchi guy? I believe so. Oh he is, God. in fact, yes, he is a member of Anamanaguchi, I believe, the lead. For as close as you can have a lead for a... Uh, a chiptune artist. Every I, single time they're here, I always forget to bring my vinyl. One of these days, man. One of these days. I sh shit, I would have worn my uh, my my shirt that I got from their last concert here in New York. One of us would have had to change. I would have brought it too. <laughs> we'll have to coordinate for next time. You guys what? already are coordinated. You're both wearing black. Oh, yeah. No black Mega Man, though. J just the OG. Oh, look. It's hard to beat the OG. You seem really dashing in with the leaf shields. This is some good coverage there. You can tell that they love this character because they're actually playing it like a Mega Man game. Jump and shoot, jump and shoot. I mean, they put it on their shirt. Why the hell not? No fake fans around here. This is the genuine article. Absolutely not. Mega Man fans, rise up. You need a better franchise. I should have told. I should have told numbers to put in his switch just for this game. Just so they could fight the Scott Pilgrim music. Oh my god, another winter? Please. Please. I was about to say, it's not too late. I could tell them to do that right now, but... No. <laughs> no let's, let's, not, let's not delay proceedings. Yeah. What are hack switches? That doesn't exist. Really Absolutely not. That was DLC. Anyway, shout out to Gamer Life for uh, following. We love you. Nice slide in. Putting that Mega Man 3, 4 to action? Oh gosh. And a quick death there. Pro going down to their second stock. Car from Mighty Oak. It's a very odd matchup. What do you think about this? Obviously, both are throw both very heavy projectile, able to keep each other out at bay. Um, I know Numbers has said like he feels okay fighting Mega Man, generally speaking. Though, like this is definitely one of the more this is. Among like among the characters that are quote off meta, hmm. and I use that term loosely, Mega Man is the most dangerous to run into if you have no idea how to fight him. Right. I mean, they have like all the boss power ups already. This is Mega Man. If Mega Man could keep everything after each game, overpowered. What would a Mega Man with every single Robot Master power look like? I wonder. Oh, that'd be amazing. What color would he be? Uh, Just rainbow. No, no, I, I think it would be black. Like, that's all the colors mixed together. Use whatever color you want him to be, because that was what he was in Smash 4. Oh my gosh. John Numbers with an amazing header spike. Alright, no hat trick there. Actually baiting out to the shore you can. Wow, catching that stray sun. Oh, we're finally catching it. You know what? Mega Opa. Wake up DP all day, every day. You know how much it disappoints me that we finally got X in a versus game and it happened to be infinite? A lot of things about infinite hurt me, just like John Numbers' up smash right there. <laughs> he agrees, frankly. Right Look, infinite had a lot of things going for it. Like, I... Like, I'm not going to say that it wasn't a technically sound game. It's actually yeah. very well put together, but it, it everything, a lot everything of... else around it just hurts so bad. Yeah. Being like, you know, we're going to get rid of a lot of fan favorites due to licensing issues. You know, these characters are, I, at the end of the day, functions, see, not that's, characters. See, I like to call it 
Because, like, I don't call it, like, an entry to MVC. I call it MCU VC. Yeah. I mean, it really went to show, like, how much control God, Marvel had at that point. Right? Like, back in the day, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Capcom was at the top of their game with fighting games. I would say now more than ever, but back then, they had a lot more sway than Marvel did in the video game space. And now, with the Marvel MCU just making game well, Marvel know, blockbusters. Did, Marvel also wasn't owned by Disney back then. That too. And Disney loves to have all creative control. Like, the biggest indicator of how much control Capcom had over Marvel was the fact that they added Silver Samurai. Yes. A nobody character, because they were like, yeah, the Japanese will eat this up. Sure. And Disney's like, who? We own that? And then we'll, and then since then, we will bring back Silver Samurai for one, one singular O-N-E Wolverine OVA in like 2013? Yeah. Are you talking about Wolverine versus the Hulk or something? Like X-Force? Like whatever the hell that was? I think so. Huh. I actually didn't realize Silver Samurai was in that. If not, it was, it was something Wolverine centric is my point. You know, he had, like, those crossover uh, yeah. specials with, like, Thor he, and He Hulk. also fucked Thor. That was silly. D different times. Well, this is like fighting Thor, really. I mean, John is one of the gods over here at Xeno. Who, who would you put as the... Who would you put as the core team to assemble for an NYC's Avenger initiative oh, in Smash Ultimate? So you know what? There is a lot of competition there. Well, obviously, Bugs has to be there. John, of course, as well. Vivi, I would put up there. You know, uh, that's what we need. We need... Mr. E? I would. I mean, they just want VTM. I think we, they run we, their spot. What we need is, you know... you can, They can make it like an event at Brooklyn, like an invitational sort of thing. Give them all, like, skins based off of their favorite adventure. Yo, that'd be amazing! I would love that. I would rack up a $100 tab for that. But uh, back to the match at hand. Yes, uh, we're not. Th we're thinking about the future, but obviously we got to be present-minded here. As uh, Pete is down to his second stock, John Numbers, though, is a little far behind in percentage. As they have slowed down the pace of this match considerably. Down. Whoa! Almost a reversal there from Pete. Trying to get that two frame, not happening. Pete's doing an excellent job using those lemons to actually stuff out uh, the charging. Back throw leading into... Header. Rare instance of Header hitting the wrong way. Let's go leave shield. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. That, w that will snipe your ledge. Yes. Wow, Good excellent recovery. recovery. Both really fighting for this spot, but John gets it. it. Hasn't come up yet, but something to be wary of. Mega Man is one of the very few characters who can consistently hit We Fit's blind spot when uh, they're going when she recovers with the hoops. Uh, she, with which attack? She uh, with a hard knuckle. Because ah. like directly above her head, she has no hitbox. Interesting, interesting. But there are very few characters who can actually hit. Who can hit the hit her head safely while recovering and not get like either traded or just beat out by other moves? Makes sense, makes sense. What edge guard situation we're we gonna see here? Alright, the solid hitting. Trying to get that flame sword out. Doesn't quite make it. Good snipe there from Peter. Leave shields out. I had a great spot dodge in to show you can. I'm surprised Numbers let himself get hit by that. Like, he real like, wow, this happened to me. Yeah. He, and I saw that down there come out. He's trying to end this game right now. He's like, all right, it's over, it's over. I want to move on. I want to get back to production. Yes, because that's, that's exactly what I say back in Nebs. We're like, I can't wait to win and or lose and go right back to running <laughs> running things. That's, that's usually how it runs for me. Oh, my goodness. All right. Excellent patience there from Peter. None of these forward smashes actually connecting, but finally get a little crash bomb there. John using the invincibility. Oh, flame pillar not quite catching the way he wanted. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yes. Just recovered at that. And a great set from both players. John is taking it angle. over. The set going to Jonathan Numeral Integers. He does it again. Also, wait a second. Pete had a uh, Snoopy on his shirt, not Mega Man. What? Yeah, it's Snoopy. It was uh, like a rainbow. Yeah, it's Snoopy right there. Oh. Yeah. 
I was talking about like the shirts from his concert. Oh, with Ramona wearing the Mega Man T. Yeah, she's rocking like, out with the metal blade guitar. It was really sick. I love that T-shirt. So good. Honestly, the next concert I think is uh, coming out in a couple months. You gonna they're, go? That's why they're back here. Yes. Like, is it? Is it in a couple months? I thought it was like this month. No way, it's this month. Ugh. I could. I could be wrong. I'm so out I of know, touch. I know I'm not gonna be around for it just because work. Yep. Like, I, like, I've been off this whole week. Amazing. Because of, of other... I have other obligations. I'm going away tomorrow. <laughs> oh, congrats. Where not, are you going? Not to, not to just for uh, friends so get together. Actually, That's so much literally fun. The, 20, the weekend of the 25th. Is the, ah. The 25th... Uh, yeah, the 25th at 7 p.m. in Brooklyn is where the next concert is. There you go. Hmm. So that's that a is, Tuesday. Yeah, that's, that's a Tuesday. Who rocks out on a Tuesday? On a Monoguchi rocks out on a Tuesday. I did. That's how I, that's how I went to last time. Hell Yeah. You know, I appreciate that. Tuesday's not too bad. It's not a Monday where your energy's low. And it's not Wednesday where you're kind of slumping along waiting for the weekend. Tuesday, Tuesday's a good in-between. I see numbers sitting right back down. I guess it's just... Yeah, we're going to have him get his set out of the way because mine isn't quite up yet. But it, it, it's getting there. Yeah, just